You want to be famous, Sifu? Tall. Oh, yes, this is lean back. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have an impact, maybe you can just touch his chin or whatever. That's why in Gozokun, a lot of the punching is body punch. Because, again, going back to the old days, uh, southerners are short people like me. Some are shorter. <laughs> Northerners are usually tall. So we cannot reach the face. <laughs> right? So that's why the punch is hey! right in the sternum. And that's why it's this twisting. Because this twisting here, See, this impact is different. This one is different. It's like a, an arrowhead or a bullet. You know, an arrow when you shoot or a bullet, they travel like this. They don't go straight. Right? For penetration, they travel like this. Right? So, that's why when you do this, this is different punch. This one is digging in. That's why from here, you go here. You see now, I'm in his chest level. He swing, he's going to miss me. I'm here. But if I try to punch the face, he leans back, I can only touch his chin and then I'm I'm within his range. Right? So that's the that's another concept. How come in case you're wondering how come five ancestors always punch body? Because we're short. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We're good. So we start from the fingers, we're gonna do a grab just below their nostrils here and not on the whole hand. Okay. This is the first grab. So if you know how to grab very strong, you really don't have to do anything. The person will go down their knees already. So the first thing is the grab. Okay? So the second thing is a T, got two. So T is twisting or turning. Okay? So if you can do twisting, turning, and grabbing correctly, Basically, they are, if they are four, turn, that's it. Third thing is bend, fourth thing is push or pull. Bend. Okay? So we like everybody to feel this tautness first. Then later on, we will show you how to escape from here. Okay? The important thing in escaping in China is following. To follow. First thing we stop them. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Stop, right? This is going to stop. Uh, 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 Fritz uh, out. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> so this one here, you don't have any tapets. So this is a faster, smaller, what I call Much more smaller circle. <laughs> So he pull, push. Okay, so this one here is also the same. Except that now you do this. You have to move with your body. If you only move with your hand, it will not happen. So when you train martial arts, when you train Wu train, like Sifu Daniel mentioned, you need to use your waist. Okay? So you have a good stand, make sure when you build your power up, you are building all this turning power, shifting power, and then shifting. Okay? So this one here employs a little bit soft motion. Up. Okay? So Chen, they say when you move, softer, but when you strike, like thunder. Okay. So now, yeah. You need any rest? <laughs> but we want to go on to different china. Need, need some water? No? <coughs> okay, so this one here, uh, going to the wrist lock. Just now it's a finger, now it's a wrist lock. Okay, wrist lock, still opposite arm, and I think this one is very common. Sometimes they call small wrist wrap. Sometimes they call golden silk wrap the, wrap the toe. So it is very common in Wu Zhu Quan. Tilt, turn, him. Okay? So you have tilt him. <laughs> Alright? Very common, right? Wu Zhu Quan, everybody practice. Tilt. The only thing is, trick here is to bend their wrist. You don't bend their wrist and you try to do this while their arm is straight, 
it will not happen. So that's why when you kill, body turns slightly to bend your wrist and then we saw it inside like a brand or you point your fingers towards its center. The other thumb controls his index finger. So it's a small wrist spread. Okay. The opposite way, when he turns, also small wrist wrap. Okay, so these are two circles. One is the clockwise circle. The other one is counterclockwise circle. <laughs> Alright, later we'll show you the other hand. Count the chin Okay. So slow motion. Up. This Yeah. Alright. Or you push up, you go to the side. The important thing is you do not panic when someone grabs your fingers or grabs your wrist. What you have to do is to learn how to follow soft. What happens if it's two hands? You are called uncle, right? <laughs> so you push, push with both arms. What you want to counter is not with both arms. Okay, many people, if they try to counter with both arms, what happens? Their head part is going to come right to the stern. Okay, so when they push two arms, you only counter one arm. This to the thumb. Okay. The best counter is when you do one arm only and control the other arm. Because most people when they use their both arms for power, they are split. So I can only do 50%, 50%. So when they do it to me, I concentrate on one in which I can use a hundred percent to counter their chin now. So the other one just relax first, then I counter one. It goes down, I counter one. Once this one, the strength come back to this one, that he's trying to counter me back, then I do this one. So now I have control. He can also step on their toes so they turn run away. <laughs> Clear? Yes. Yeah. So, you see here? Yeah. Okay, so this is your Okay, have some fun. Five more minutes. Good now, start with your hands up like this. Okay, in front. And you're just going to put two fingers under here. And he's going to press down and you're going to hold up. And if he's not using his body, see the hands are coming off. You can't lower my, my fingers. But it depends. Okay, okay, it's better. So, what we want to do here in our action of our of our sinking here, we're just going to sink with this hand position, is we want to move wrist, elbow, and then the lat pulls the shoulder down in that sequence. Hold your arm out so you get strong for me. If I just drop with the wrist, nothing happens, right? It's it's all coming into my deltoid. It's not good. If I just use the elbow, we can fall off of the contact point. So we don't want to just use our elbow. If I just use the shoulder, it's kind of hard. I'm coming up with my feet. But if we put the three together in the sequence, it takes almost no effort for me to move him down, right? And this is important when we're here and we want to take control of the center before we come in and do some technique, okay? So what we, the way we practice the ability to sink uh, is to just hold your arms out in a bad position. I mean, if we're not doing a technique, it's just you're already fully extended. And just hold, with your partners, hold two fingers under, 
And if that hurts, you can just cup, cup your hands like that. And you let your partner sink both hands down at the same time because you want the body to contract. And he's going to sink and try just his wrists, nothing, just the elbows. It's going to fall off, just the shoulders, can't. But if he does in order, one, two, and then the lat pulls the shoulder down here, sink. It's hard, it's hard for me to hold him up. You'll be amazed when you when you do it with your partner. Yes. Oh. You have a question? No, I'm practicing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so first, what, what we can do is just find a partner and have them punch your chest. Arm. And the first thing we did was the sinking, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to just meet like this, and then we're going to sink, right? I'm just hold hold your hand wherever you want. I just have mine here for guard. Uh, when I sink, I don't want to. I want to make sure my elbow is still in line with my wrist and shoulder. Right? If I break the position here and he moves forward, the weight goes back into my shoulder. And I want, if he's pressing forward, that the, press, that the weight is going into my last so it can go down my leg. Okay? So he's going to punch. We're going to intercept and drop okay? here and sink. Okay? When I have the sink, now we're going we're gonna, to press. You want your partner for this drill to keep the pressure. Okay? And I'm stepping forward, and the other hand's going to come here or here you're going to do the spit out, okay? So that's the spring that we just did. So I have to take the force and sink the force, but he still has force on me. So then I'm going to, but my elbow's not going to go behind my ribs in front, so I have the force in front, okay? So let's try that. The gravity pump, they call si ping la, right power stop. Knee up, breathe in. When you down, breathe out. Both of you. One set break. One set break. Go here, so right, or your black ball out. Just no need to one, two, just one. Finish. No more, or this way. Doesn't matter. So when you go, quick, he broke already. Right? I hit here. I use the shoulder, right? So when we play, this is only by exercise. But when you attack, no more stop. Just continue. So when you go, one, two, three, use this one. Or after here, back and go. Use the then five four, one two three four. Okay, I think we got it. 
<laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. We'll do this. Yes. We got something to touch out somewhere. Yeah. on the yellow one. Okay. 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 Stop. That's good. Dab and then the right foot launch in again. When you punch, fist will land at the same time. Boom. So right fist, launch, and land. So you try to focus your target uh, center, the heart. The heart area, the sternum. That's why you the sternum here, from here. Okay. Once you came, hold the elbow there, lock in, take your stand, step in. Otherwise, <laughs> one. Up with this again. Okay. Second one. Two. You push it this way. And then two. Pack a class. This is the two. And then from here, you sneak out. Step. Step back. Step home. Knee and then elbow follow through. And then from after you go on elbow knee, you're about to land your feet, hands follow. One, two, one, two. And now you have opponent coming with a nice and hook tight. Grab in, kick. Going back in the ball, and in the tummy, and in the sternum, in the jaw. And one, hey, hey. One, two, one move. See. Once you go here, you can mix it back. Hey, see. Sure. By a power sequence, opening fist, throw down, side, push your fist, breathe in, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, center, salute, open up, inhale, exhale, charge in, throttle, one, hey, go, step. Chop, monkey guard, Kim, step in charge, one, two, three, hook, turn left, monkey guard, Kim, side in, chop, okay, monkey hop back, chop, okay, so one, one quick pointer, when you do the monkey jump back, make sure this leg is sticking in, don't stick it out like this, okay, there, let this one go here. If that leg is sticking out, it gets stepped on. Okay, so you try to make yourself a small target. So from here, chop out, get up, monkey guard. Stepping king to condition your wrist, your forearm from getting trapped or getting grabbed. That's why when you punch in, somebody try to grab you, twist back, twist back, and punch back out. So that's the purpose of this. So turning down, right? It's to try to prevent from getting trapped or getting your wrist manipulated. Once you punch out, okay? okay? But it takes conditioning for to make it to work. Yeah, or else, yeah, if it don't work, but then it won't work. <laughs> okay, hold down. Turn left, monkey guard. You step in team, okay? So, step in team, okay? Right leg step in. Okay, hold down. Oh, you did that, okay, yeah. Step in team, right side, three, hold down. Turn left, on the guard, kill on this hand. Then step in him, and you do the upper cutting the jump again. Okay, so this hand will pull, this one punch out. Jump back. Jump. Get up. Center guard, monkey guard. Him. Step in. Spin. Kill. Check. Turn left, monkey guard. Okay. And from here, Kim, charge punch. One, two, three, go. And monkey guard. So as soon as you go monkey guard, you Kim again. Charge in. Three punch. One, two, three, go. 